everyone you're welcome to my channel on today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to sew we are going to learn the basics of sewing and everything you need to know about sewing from scratch yes i am here for you and i'm here to answer all your questions so without much ado we are going to go ahead and do this it's going to be simple and very easy and very direct but if you feel that you don't understand what I'm doing, please feel free to leave a message in my comment section and I'll respond back to you. It is a 10 session course. So with I, be, I believe between now and the next 10 sessions, I believe you will know all the basics that you need. So sit back and relax while we do it. So this is our sewing machine. This was my beginner friendly <laughs> sewing machine that i used and this was my everything i will say if you're planning to start to learn how to sew i will recommend this because this is brother ls14 and why i said it's good for beginners is because it's so detailed it's so simple it's just on pack it and you have numbers everywhere it just it just makes life a lot easier for people that are learning how to sew so i'm going to show you how to tread a needle how to tread a sewing machine so we have our tread here so there are different kinds of tread this is cotton tread so and then um, but most times i make use of cotton tread they have all sorts of thread the one for silk the one for heavy duty fabrics so it depends on what you want to sew that is what will require um, a different thread but most times this is a thread i make use of so what i do is one i place my thread here and i get my bobbin i get my bobbin Never mind, I already have um, tread in here. I get my bobbin, bobbin. First and foremost, when you want to start treading your sewing machine, you make sure that um, you pass this, you pass the tread, you pass the tread over here. Sorry, you pass it over here make sure that it goes in and when you put it in you hear a clicking sound so when you do that you pass the thread from here into the hole of the bobbin and you can see it comes up over there then you hold it up put it in here I'm going to put it in here so after doing that remember I still have the tread I'm holding it I push it to this lever to this lever and after doing that I'm going to now press on the foot pedal so when we're done, when we've had enough thread here, we'll cut it off. We'll cut here off. Don't cut the one on the on the uh, uh, thread. Cut the one that is on that is with the bobbin. You cut just half of it off. And now we are going to now put this thread the sewing machine so what i'm basically doing is i'm going to pass this thread from here you see there's a long line here there's a line here like as i told you this sewing machine is so good up here is number one and here is number two so you just follow the direction number two and here is number three number three number four this is number four up here so 
so we are looking for another we are looking for this um yeah we are looking for this this metal metal so we need it we need to pass it around it i hope you see what i'm doing we need to pass it round number four you go up here and curve round you come down here number five then you hook this to the thread hook up here up here then now we are going to work on the so depending on what you're sewing this is just normal stitch thread which is between 70 80 90 we use it to sew just basic sewing so i'm just going to take one of the threads and i'm going to this is one of the threads this is what the threads look like it's flat headed round head and flat by the side so the flat bit make sure that when you're putting the thread you're extremely careful because if you are not careful it's going to fall into the sewing machine hole right here and it can damage the sewing machine better still when you're sewing i will advise that you put like a cloth here to cover up so that it, if any mistake happens if the thread falls off it will fall on the fabric instead of falling in here if it falls here the sewing machine is going to um, be faulty so the flat bit here at the back will be facing the back so we are putting the sewing machine the thread in and when i feel that it's gone up enough as i hope you're seeing then i use this to screw it this is the screw and you will feel it as you're screwing it the more you screw it the harder it gets until you're done screwing it yeah now we are done with the so with with the uh, needle so after doing that we are going to insert this thread into the needle hole like so like so then this is a sewing foot this is just for this is basic this is basic sewing foot so i put it back in here i put it back in there that is where it goes then now we're going to open here this is where the bobbin goes and remember we've already wind our bobbin so your bobbin is meant to go anti-clockwise sorry your bobbin, bobbin is meant to go anti-clockwise not clockwise so see how it is if you can see how it is i'll put it in here and grip on the lever here there's a lever there grip on it and twist it back make it go all the way back to join the second thread then we can now cover up now that we've co covered up and we feel that we are close to the to sorting out the threading what we are going to do is use our hands grab here grab the sewing handle so we are going to wind the sewing machine down then when it goes up like that we hold the threads together here and pull all the way back that's it that's it now we are done we put the footer in back then this is sorted now this is sorted what we need to do now is when you are sewing when you are sewing 
Always look at these numbers. This determines the tension of the thread. When it's too tight, the thread is going to cut. It can cut, it can break. But usually I put it between three and four. That is where I usually put my, 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 where my tension because I feel it's just between normal. So this is where the tension is. One is for tiny stitch, but up to three and four is normal stitch. Then over here, over here, we have, we have different designs for the sewing. We have the zigzag, different sh designs of zigzag. And um, number six here is a tiny stretch stitch. And here we have number seven is a little bit bigger than number six. Number eight is normal, normal stitch. And number nine is a bit above normal stitch. While number 10 is large stitch. Uh, one more thing. Um, when um, you're sewing, um, make use of um, sewing machines that is really, really your size. Don't use oversized or too big sewing machine because it's going to damage your knuckles. Your hands are going to like swell. Some people's um, uh, knuckles will swell. Some it will automatically turn completely black. So you need to be wary of the kind of scissors you, you use. You use the scissors that is exactly your hand size, okay? And um, remember that. Also, uh, another one is the measuring tape. You can use measuring tape of your choice. So we're going to have a recap of what we've done today. Then this is the... Where this this is where the thread the needle the thread goes and this is where the we place the bobbin to thread the bobbin and remember that we pass the thread here to pass through this lever this tiny bit thing here and when we pass it around it needs to click and when it clicks we pass it around here and put it into the bobbin and when we put it here we need to push it backward so that it can stick to this lever then we step on our press on our foot pedal until the the bobbin fills up and when the bobbin is filling up enough then we begin to pass we cut it and pass the thread from here up here down from number one here number two here number three here number four here we go round from here down to number five here here number six we pass it through here then into the needle then backwards outer then our bobbin we open here our bobbin we open our bobbin here it is we pass it in anti-clockwise go this way and turn this way let me do it again go this way and turn make sure it goes into the lever in there goes in there we close it this way and we are ready to start sewing if you feel you don't understand anything please just leave a message for me and i'll respond back to you in the next session we are going to go straight into sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye and God bless.